My name is Heather Kitely. I'm a CIMO Fellow and the Group Chief Executive of Port of Leith Housing Association. There's four entities in the group, the Housing Association, which is the parent of three subsidiaries, one providing mid-market rented properties and one a repairs and maintenance service and the other providing community initiatives. The majority of our staff are office based and so it was initially a big challenge for us to close our office and to set everybody up to be able to work from home. Being a local community based group means that a lot of our customers come into the office for face to face meetings and so we had to change our operations very quickly to enable our staff to work remotely. Some of our customers are the most vulnerable in our society and we want to maintain as many of our services as we can while keeping them and our staff safe. It was difficult at first when the advice from the government and our regulators was changing daily and at times conflicting. We had a, a robust business continuity plan which was put into place early on. Our management team and staff have been fantastic. They have shown real resilience and willingness to overcome challenges and to maintain co uh, contact with our customers, which has actually made it very easy for me to do my job. Having everyone working remotely has been challenging to me. I'm used to seeing my colleagues in the office daily and so working out a good way to have business meetings and interaction with staff took a while. As humans, we communicate not only through speech, but through facial expressions and body language. So video calls for meetings and interaction is really important. I think I've managed to master the art of good video meetings with management. And I'm holding virtual informal coffees with various staff teams to make sure that I can maintain contact with as many people as possible and to check in on them to see how they are. I also did a survey early on to get an indication as to how everybody was feeling and experiencing the lockdown and to see whether there was anything we could do to support them better. So from a personal point of view, I have a granddaughter who's only six months old and so not seeing her is very painful. However, I've had lots of Zoom calls with my daughter and trying to make sure that my granddaughter still sees my face and hears my voice so she won't forget who I am. Um, apart from missing family and friends, I feel really grateful for many things. I'm staying positive, enjoying saving on travelling time, and I've been running every morning, which is really important for me to stay healthy and sane. So advice to, to you all is to maintain as much contact with colleagues and customers via video calls as you can. Stay positive, give as much certainty and assurance to staff as you're able to and understand that everyone will have their own challenges that they're dealing with on top of the challenges of working from home. Keep a, a focus on the future. You can't put everything on hold. There are some things that can be progressed by finding different ways of doing them. And finally, just keep positive because we will get through this.